my name is Tony Daniel, and I am the writer and artist of Batman. Okay, I, I wrote uh, the story where uh, Dick Grayson becomes Batman after Batman goes missing, or they think he's dead. And then uh, I wrote uh, the ongoing Batman title, where Dick Grayson is the new Batman, fitting into his new role. They're both a lot of fun to draw. Uh, Teen Titans is different because you're forced to do a cleaner um, art style because you have so many characters. And if you get too dark and gritty, you're gonna basically have very, you know, cramped, muddy-looking art just because of uh, all the characters and detail that goes into it. In Batman, um, you have a lot more to work with in terms of shadows and lighting. You know, it, it's uh, Batman is not just the character, but it's the place, it's his surroundings. It's a lot of it is atmosphere and mood. So. Uh, uh, the way I draw or approach the, the Batman uh, comic book art is uh, much different than the way I would approach Superman, for instance. I'd like to see uh, uh, Bruce Wayne come back and um, take off, you know, pick up where he left off and uh, kick butt, take names, and uh, do what he does. But maybe, maybe he's learned some things along the way in his journey back that he can used to make him an even more uh, intimidating superhero. Well, when it, my, my routine is I wake up, I, uh, my daughter wakes me up uh, every morning, says, Daddy, come downstairs, we watch TV, I drink my coffee. Uh, uh, after the nanny comes and, uh, you know, we can settle down, I can go upstairs and I actually I work from home, so I can, uh, I usually drink my second cup of coffee, read the sports, uh, read the news and after I'm done procrastinating I uh, I start getting to work so I might have to uh, tweak some writing or I ju might just get right into the art uh, but I work um, through most of the day try to do a nice big chunk of my work through the afternoon hours and then uh, you know since I work from home and I got small kids uh, after I'm done you know being uh, a dad and everything I can uh, uh, finish up any leftover artwork that needs to be done in the evening. So I'm usually up until about 10, 10.30 drawing. I read before I go to bed, watch TV like everybody else, and then start again the next day. But I try to, I try to have a normal of a schedule as possible. I try to work just Monday through Friday and not work weekends unless I absolutely have to. I do, but I try to not. I love both. Um, being, a, being a, mainly a visual artist, I mean, if I had to choose one that I could do for the rest of my life and not the other, I would choose to be an artist, uh, uh, a visual artist, just because, you know, I get to see immediate results uh, right in front of me, as opposed to writing, which uh, takes a while to craft and to get a, uh, uh, you know, it takes time to get the result out of. So, um, I just, I, I'm an artist first and foremost, so, uh, I definitely can't live without that. Well, right now, my this is my dream project, uh, d writing and drawing Batman. Uh, y you know, but to be honest, I, I would love to do a great uh, Justice League run. I would really, I have a story in my head that I, uh, you know, want to share with uh, the people that need to know these kinds of things, and talk about that maybe for the future, uh, maybe uh, maybe a year down the road. I'm on Batman probably for the next year or so. So maybe after that, I don't know. I want to do Superman, I want to do, you know, these are all like my dream projects. So I love it. It's a great, it's a great, uh, it's the best book that there is, you know. It's the best character. I mean, Batman is uh, uh, an icon who's, you know, he's, you can't go a day without watching TV without him being mentioned by some program, some newscaster, some sitcom. He's just mentioned and he's, part of everybody's everyday life. It's just, you know, amazing what Batman is uh, to everybody.